It's my distinct honor to now introduce 2016 inductee Adam Morandini. A two-time All-Canadian, Adam was the Hawks goalkeeper for three seasons in the backbone of our team that competed in back-to-back -back CCAA National Championships. He was selected top keeper at both the 94 and 95 National Championships. For Adam and his teammates, the 95 championship was memorable for a number of reasons. As you can imagine, playing soccer in November in Medicine Hat, the weather was cold and had its challenges, but no more so when they arrived than Toronto. But when the team woke up the next day, they looked out to two feet of snow. Impressively, the hosts called in the, mil the local military to shovel and clean the field and provided the teams with sideline heaters, as Marcy attested to earlier. Certainly our former mayor, Mel Lassman, would have been proud of the ingenuity in Medicine Hat. Despite the cold and snow and playing the best teams in the country, Adam would stand out and allow just a single goal over three games, including a 2-0 shutout in the championship game, leading Humber to the program's first national championship. To quote Jermaine Sanchez, who's joined us this evening and coached our program for 20 years, including all three of Adam's seasons, beyond his individual accomplishments, Adam was a driving force in building our program. He was a strong personality that drew players to play with him and helped build a winning culture that defined the program going forward. He was always the hardest working player and a champion in all respects. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating 2016 Hall of Fame inductee, Adam Morandini. Thank you very much, Ray. Uh, those of you that know me, I'm not much for words, so I know everybody's antsy, this will be quick. <laughs> uh, first of all, I wanna start off by congratulating all the inductees tonight on your great achievement. Um, I must say I was in shock three, four months ago uh, to receive a phone call uh, about this uh, induction tonight, um, especially for myself. It's been roughly about 21 years uh, since, uh, since my last game. Uh, so I was very, very excited when I received the phone call. Uh, my wife, uh, Natalie, is with me tonight. Uh, who I met at Humber. Uh, we have two lovely children. So I just want to say thank you very much to the CCAA for giving us a date night without the kids tonight. <laughs> thank you. Right now I'd be at home watching uh, Princess YouTube uh, videos with my four-year-old, so. Uh, I was fortunate enough to compete in two CCAAs, one in Montreal, and one in uh, Medicine Hat, Alberta, which we called the famous snowstorm. I'll just give you a quick rundown. We were on a ground level room. Uh, we woke up game day morning. Uh, we had a sliding, almost like a patio door, and there was a three foot snow drift. So right away, uh, the other three that were in the room with us, we got all excited and then all of a sudden everything just came down and for a moment, we thought, how, how is this possible? How is it going to happen? Like, we're playing soccer outdoors, and there's three feet of snow. Well, all I remember uh, is the sight showing up to the field that day, seeing the field swept clean and not one snowflake on that field. With uh, You can see the pictures uh, over there. Um, and having two-foot snow banks all the way around the field. And it was cold, hence why you'll never see me in purple tights again. <laughs> uh, I remember we tried to gather whatever we could just to stay warm uh, that day. Um, there's a few people I'd like to thank. Uh, my coach, Jermaine Sanchez, uh, Jim Bilek, Doug Fox. Thank you for all the behind the scenes. Uh, stuff that you took care of for us whenever we needed any help, whether it was academically, personal, uh, you were always there for me and my teammates. So I just want to say thank you. Um, I also want to thank the CCAA um, for this award. Uh, 
And you may not realize, but the opportunities that you give to student athletes uh, to be able to travel and compete within Canada and uh, other provinces uh, outside of the varsity programs at home, not everybody has that opportunity to travel. And uh, I think you, you uh, create dreams for people. And uh, not only did you leave me with um, long-term memories, but you, 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 you've given me lifetime memories that today I still share with uh, friends, old teammates, and uh, more importantly, my family and my kids. So I just wanted to say thank you for a great evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.